Our top story today, whether gay sex remains a crime in India, will be decided by the Supreme Court today. The five-judge constitution bench, headed by the Chief Justice of India, Deepak Mishra, and including Justice Rointan Nariman, Justice A.M. Khanvilkar, Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, and Justice Indu Malhotra, will decide whether Section 377, which is a controversial British-era ban on consensual gay sex, violates specific articles of the constitution. Let me tell you that Section 377, introduced in 1861, criminalizes sexual activities against the order of nature, including gay sex. Now, this ban has been challenged by five high-profile petitioners who say that they have been living in fear of being punished and that Section 377 is against Article 14, which is equality before law, Article 15, which outlaws discrimination, and Article 19, which gives freedom to form associations. The Supreme Court, while hearing the case, has observed that we can't wait for majoritarian government to decide on law if it violates fundamental rights. The petition has come from various members of the LGBT community, including Sangeet Natak Academy Award winner Napte Johar, journalist Sunil Mehra, restauranter Ritu Dalmia and Nimrana hotel chain co-founder Amarnath and businesswoman Aisha Kapoor. So will a 157 year of discrimination finally end today? Here's what two young petitioners, both IITians, Ashris and Akhilesh, had to say on the morning of the historic judgment. section of people have have been denied this opportunity and it's going to be a historic day in human rights uh, chapter for india and it will lay the foundation for future battles in uh, in, in in the coming future as to you know how uh, how people are affected people who have been uh, assaulted are not being able to report crimes uh, you know, uh, it would help uh, LGBT Indians to go and approach the cops and, you know, report cases to be uh, fearless when they go. It starts affecting the way you see yourself um, in general day to day life. You get really conscious of the way you walk, the way you talk, so as to, you know, not being ridiculed by the community. Mm -hmm. And I think law sort of like embodies uh, what society perceives as the morality mm -hmm. in a long way. So, um, having this law passed and say like you know we as indians believe that uh, being homosexual is not a criminal thing i think that would set the stone for a lot of indians to open up their minds 